Hello and welcome to the London Car Alarm Company. Today we fitted a Thatcham Category 1 insurance approved system, which is a Hornet Max 1. Customers got a classic car, insurance company stipulated had to have a Thatcham Category 1. What this product has, it protects the doors, the bonnet, the boot, has a two point immobiliser, battery backup siren, ultrasonic sensors, and a single zone microwave. The reason why we fitted the ultrasonics and the microwave this alarm has what we call dual sensor trigger so it makes it more stable so if someone was to jump in it would have to pick up movement and heat so when the hood is down it also makes it stable and with the wind I'm going to run through how it works very very straightforward when you leave the vehicle hit that button there two bleeps two flashes system comes on when you come back to the vehicle hit the disarm one bleep one flash also if you want to come home at night and you don't want no chirping, you've got silent arm. The way you do that is that button, then that button, indicate it's flash but no bleep, silent arm, come back and disarm it quietly, that one, then that one, one flash. It also has system error alert. So if it sees a problem on the door circuit, it will give you additional bleeps. If it gives you sees a problem on the bonnet or the boot, it will also give you an alert. I'm going to run through that now, so I'm going to leave a door open and you're going to see what happens. So I'm going to arm it, we're going to get two bleeps and then we're going to get a following three bleeps to the system error. So if we arm it now, two bleeps, two flashes, three bleeps means there's a system error, it's seeing a neg on the door circuit. So we know it's detected the door circuit. Now I'm going to do the same on the boot, but it will do the same for the bonnet. So I'm going to disarm it and do the same. So I'm going to arm it again. Two bleeps. And now additional five bleeps telling it's detecting the boot circuit and there's a system error but we know that because the boot's open. So I'm now going to disarm it and arm it properly and go through a trigger sequence. So this time I'm going to arm it and then I'm going to trigger each door individually as it triggers. If I don't shut it down, it will run a 30 second cycle, but I'm going to shut it down just for test purposes. So we'll do that now. Okay, I'm now going to disarm it. This time it's given us three bleeps to say the alarm's triggered in our absence. So we know it's been triggered. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to arm it and I'm going to trigger the interior sensors. It's a little bit more sensitive when the window's up, but this has a, a single zone microwave and ultrasonic. So it has to detect movement and heat for it to trigger, what we call dual sensor mode. So I'll wait for it to set about a minute and then we'll lean over and see if it triggers. I hit it once, it will stop the sound, hit it again, it will disarm it. Um, this also has a facility called a four digit pin code. So should the transmitter battery run low such you can't disarm it, or you're in a place where you've got signal blocking where someone's transmitting illegally, blocking your transmitter, you have a four digit pin code. And the way you insert that is using a push button and an ignition switch, which is explained in the user guide manual. I hope you found this video helpful. My name's Otto, the company's called London Car Alarm Company. The number to me is 0208 906 0478, 0208 906 
0478 Thank you very much. Bye-bye.